thank you. I'm really good. Um, um, I've had a really hard day, and um, I know uh, Bill came out and told jokes, and um, that's one way to go. <laughs> but I've been waiting on some test results, and um, they were supposed to text them to me today, and they haven't. Um, they're not for me, they're for my grandmother, but... Um, so instead of telling jokes, I'm just going to do like a half hour of me and my grandmother's favorite songs. <laughs> and you know what? If you guys could grow up and stop laughing, that'd be great, because <laughs> it's really hard for me. If I lay beside you, would you pull me closer? <sighs> if I lay beside you, if I was inside you, what? It's the results. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank God. She's not my grandmother. <laughs> oh. oh, my God, that song. That song has been so awkward for so long. I hate your kids. Every one of your kids is garbage. <laughs> and if your instant reaction was, not my kid, that's the exact kid I'm talking about. <laughs> We're too lenient on them. Did you know the harp seal will give birth to its child and 12 days later, it leaves and <laughs> never comes back? Meanwhile, humans are calling schools and saying, we got to get rid of the red ink when we're marking tests because it's giving my child too much anxiety. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I think we should take the red ink and write it right on their face. You're an idiot! <laughs> Meanwhile, the harp seal, only knowing its mother for 12 days, sits on the ice. It can't swim, it can't eat, and it just sits there for a month, losing half its body weight. 30% of them die, but the ones that live know Life is hard. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're on the phone with the principal going, oh my God, we had such a hard week this week. Um, we learned that Brian is allergic to pineapple and, <laughs> oh. So therefore, we think the other 1,500 students <laughs> at your school should not be able to eat pineapple. No, we've tried to teach Brian what pineapple is. <laughs> we have a table every day we test them. Look, Brian, Brian, there's the three things on the table, okay? The one is the TV remote. The next one's a picture of your dad. <laughs> he loves you. And the third one, it's where it gets tough, is pineapple. Well, I don't know what he's, oh, I gotta call you back, the dumb bastard's eating the pineapple. <laughs> I was reading this article about 9-11, and it was all about how they're building a monument 
And that's what the story was about and how the monument was going to be late. But then three paragraphs in, they recapped what happened on 9-11. In 2001, Al-Qaeda operatives flew planes into the buildings. And I was reading that going, who needed that recap? Like, who, <laughs> who was three paragraphs into that article going, what's happening? I should just keep reading, I guess. <gasps> oh my God, where have I been? <laughs> like what editor walked in and was like, hey, uh, Daniel, can I have a word with you? <laughs> Read your article on 9-11, great work. Here's what I'm thinking though. Three paragraphs in. We just do a little recap. Just to jog people's memory about 9-11. Stephen, I, I don't think we need that. Um, <laughs> I think most people remember 9-11. <laughs> Daniel, I don't want to pull rank here. <laughs> but I am the editor. And we are going with the recap. <laughs> Stephen, you know we were both up for that job. If I hadn't had that health scare, maybe I'd be the one calling the shots on this whole 9-11 story. You need to calm down. <laughs> well, this is bullshit, Steven! I want you to take the rest of the day off. And he did. He wandered around for a while, stopped into his local pub, he had a scotch on the rocks. He asked for it straight, but he didn't say anything. <laughs> he drank it, he finally made it home, and his wife was sitting on the stairs. She'd been worried about him. Where'd he been? He said, oh, I got into a fight at work again. She was, a, was it about the editor job? No, this time, it was about 9-11. And she was like, 9-0-what? <laughs> you guys have been a lot of fun. I'm Mark Forward. Thanks so much.